All right, guys, quick video here of the San Martin SN004. There's two different colorways. There's this blue one, and then, of course, there's the black one with the gilted colorway. Both look great. Um, I actually bought this one. I don't see it anymore on the website, but it was like um, you weren't sure which one you were going to get. I forget, like a mystery box, I guess. And I want to say it was like $189. It was under $200. And it was from a U.S. Uh, warehouse, USA Warehouse. So I got it pretty quick as well. And I said, shoot, I'll give it a shot. So quick um, sp spoiler alert, I guess. Should you buy the San Martin? Well, if you're watching this video and you're interested in the best bang for your buck sort of money-wise in a 38 millimeter diver... Uh, yeah, for 200 bucks, yeah, I think you should probably buy one of these and check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So, yeah, you don't have to watch the rest of the video if you don't want. But I suspect you will if you are looking at San Martin because you are, um, you know, obsessing about it and you just want to see more content on the incredible value that San Martin offers. And I say that with the fact that I actually bought this watch. I have no direct dealing with San Martin and um, there's no promotion or anything like that so like all my videos I don't tell you what to buy I don't um, oftentimes people will even ask me should I buy this or should I buy that I'm like listen man it's your money buy whatever the heck you want and that's legit that's all I want to do is show you guys the watch so you can decide better whatever the watch whatever the brand However, I ended up with the watch on my channel, whether I bought it or it was loaned in or it was given to me or it was donated or whatever you want to call it. Um, I never try to sell you the watch, except for on Sunday. Some, sometimes on Sunday, I try to sell you the watch. But <laughs> those are used watches. Um, the, these watches, it's up to you. That's the case with all of them. All right, enough, enough uh, side ramble on that. Let's get back to this guy. 38 millimeter case. 46 lug to lug. The thickness is 13.25. That's including, I don't know if you can really call it a box, but it, I guess it's slightly boxed and single domed sapphire, as you can see with that crazy distortion. You have 20 millimeter lug width. You have that female end link here, so you can articulate pretty quick. And that tapers down to 16. Nice screw pins on this. Really good hardware, actually. And then a milled out folding class, double pushers, signed four micro adjusts in a manual format. You're going to need your little thumbtack or spring bar tool or something. You have double post in there for security. You have a screw down case back, screw down crown, 200 meter water resist, 120 click bezel, very good bezel actually, actually. Ceramic bezel insert, a little bit of play in it, not much. Uh, let's see, you have that metal ring that I like in between the crystal and the bezel. I don't know why I like that, but I just do. You have a seven millimeter crown. It's also signed. If we zoom in on this, you can get a closer look at all that. I did actually wind this and throw it on the time grapher, and it is running at plus five seconds. I am not mad about that. The movement inside should be the NH35. There is a ghost date position, meaning that this is a no date dial. And when you unscrew that crown, there's a phantom position where there would be traditionally a date change and then you pop it out one more click and it hacks the movement and you can set the time. Not a big deal at most price points. If I'm being quite honest with you, I think too many people hyper-focused on that. Um, I think there are no date movements out there that these brands should be using, but I don't get upset and lose sleep when they don't. And definitely not at this price point. At $229, I think is the current price on this. And then Almost inevitably, when you go to the website and leave or come back or whatever like that, you're going to get some sort of coupon, so you're going to get even a discount off that. You have a snowflake handset. You have applied markers, San Martin printed on the dial, as well as automatic 200 meter equals 660 feet. And then on the case back, it is sterile. So I will remove the case back and show you what it looks like inside. So that'll be at the very end of the video. Right now, we're going to zoom back out, pop it on wrist give you the loom shot and then if you want to stay tuned you can see what is inside this thing there it is on my wrist I know a lot of people will end up putting 
you know, an FKM rubber strap or a NATO or something like that on there, but the bracelet's actually really nice. Um, I didn't size this one, but I did size this one, which is the GMT one. Uh, these are more money, but this one fits my wrist better. I did show them side by side. The 38 works for me, no problem, but this GMT one, 100%. I love that one. Um, and then I'll probably actually buy the other one that's more of uh, the fixed metal bezel one. So let's kill the lights. I'm going to give them a quick blast. I'll give them both a blast. So we can check the loom, and then, at, like I said, at the very end, I'll splice in what it looks like in the inside. So there you go. You have a nice BGW-9 healthy application of loom. Probably a little bit brighter than the GMT. Definitely a little bit brighter. All right, thanks for watching. I don't know why you want to see inside, but if you did, there it is. Of course, you do have the plastic gray plastic uh, spacer in there. That's pretty standard affair. Uh, looks like a decent gasket. It's not a Viton gasket or anything like that. Uh, but it is uh, just an NH movement, NH35 movement. Looks clean. I don't see any debris or anything like that. It looks like a nice, clean environment, uh, as you would expect when you open a case back of a watch. So, I don't know if people were expecting to see sawdust or something in there. I mean, these are not junk watches. These are actually pretty dang good watches. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.